Uh, today we're focused on trellises. Have you ever used a trellis? I never have. I started looking at the landscape around me and what my options were and I found a really cool, inexpensive alternative. We're talking less than 30 bucks for the whole thing all together. And I wanted to tell you about it. I went to my local Atwoods. I asked for cattle fencing. I heard cattle fencing was a pretty good option as far as a sturdy piece of fence but it was possible to cut it with some bolt cutters. Sure enough, they had a eight foot tall, five foot wide piece. Looking at it more closely, I realized I could cut it down if I wanted, but it was actually the perfect shape for me. So here's this cattle fencing we're talking about. This stuff is sturdy, it's solid, it should work out perfect. I'm gonna put some spray paint on it so it'll match the pergola. You can choose any color you'd like, outdoor of course, something that's gonna be okay to spray on metal, and you should be good to go. Don't forget the bolt cutters, take them with you to your local store because the sheet I saw at Lowe's was 16 feet long and there was no way it was gonna fit in the truck. So when I found this smaller one, I was pretty excited because it was actually the perfect size for my project. You may wanna cut these into two different pieces and so that way you've got some options to have multiple trellises, but um, you're gonna need those bolt cutters to cut it down to size and um, possibly just even get it home from the store. I'm gonna set this up, get started on my project and we'll see how it turns out. I prop that piece of cattle fence up on those bags of mulch. We'll spray paint both sides, probably put two or three coats on, and then we will attach it to the pergola. Welcome back. Our trellis has been painted, the paint dried, my handsome husband has hung it up for us, and so now I'm ready to show you what our very inexpensive, very large trellis looks like. Take a look. You can hardly see it, and that was the point. They wanted privacy. They didn't want anything too fancy. They wanted simple. Matches their pergola perfectly. So as they sit on their patio, that trellis should fill in and hide the view from the backyard neighbors, giving them the privacy that they wanted. It's very inexpensive which makes it a fantastic option. It does need to come down later on. You're not investing a lot. Let me show you how my husband hung it for me. Using very simple hardware, we did spray paint the hardware black, helping it blend in. We just hung it with three very, very simple pieces. And as I mentioned, the homeowners Pergula style is quite industrial and they like that style, so we didn't feel we had to get elaborate. I'll show you how we anchored it down at the bottom. Just grabbed those at the local hardware store. You could stake it down with some wire if you wanted. Uh, maybe you don't need your staked down. I think once the rose starts to climb, it won't need staking. I hope you're enjoying these quick garden tips. I'm having a great time putting them together for you. So follow along by subscribing to Favorite Hobby Gardener. And next up, we're gonna show you how to get as many roses as possible off of your climbing rose. I learned a tip and I wanna share it with you.